the FEP, for me, it triggered a bit of a thought process, and I think for, for anyone who completes one, it just just physically going through and answering those questions does make you think about what sort of um, activities you're doing in, in that particular space. And so one that came up again and again was, was irrigation scheduling and, and soil moisture monitoring. So uh, that was something that uh, I'd done a little bit of. I'd used a um, hydro services to, uh, to do a little bit of that for me on one block. But I also could see that perhaps I needed to just do a little bit more than that. So I purchased a couple of um, soil moisture monitors to help me uh, make better decisions on how and when I irrigate. So, yeah, so I don't think that would have happened if I hadn't been sort of uh, compelled to do it an FEP. And similarly, this um, production-wise recording, online recording system. The audit involves um, sitting down with the farmer and having a look at their farm environment plan and assessing that against the good management practices. After we've done that, we'll go for a walk around the farm and look at some of the things that they've been doing. The most common area of improvement would be probably around record keeping and perhaps just checking their irrigation systems, that they're actually doing what they are supposed to be doing. I do think the main thing is just tr triggering that thought process about what sort of effect uh, is my operation having on, on the environment and uh, how, can, how am I going to demonstrate that I'm using water sort of appropriately and, and efficiently. So those things are, uh, I don't know whether you call them practical, but they're, they, certainly, uh, uh, they certainly come out of, of going through the FEP process. I think one of the key benefits for farmers for being part of an irrigation scheme, um, particularly Bar Hill, Chertsey and Acton, is um, their fees effectively pay for myself as a resource. I'm there whenever they want and I can try and facilitate and make um, the whole pathway for this continuous improvement program very smooth. Um, so they pretty much just, all they need to do is sign in and do the FEP. Um, and call me up if they need some help and if there's any information that they need they know that they can just call me um, to get on board and I think there's a enormous benefit with being part of a collective where there's a lot less focus on the individual and a much greater focus on um, making improvements as a whole. So some of the benefits about doing an audit for the farmers um, are that it helps them see if they're on track to meeting the good management targets. So. The farm environment plan and the audit process works together. So the farm environment plan is a living document and it, the whole process allows for continuous improvement in their farming system. A lot of farmers have got benefit out of it in terms of small system improvements that they didn't think about beforehand. Like, especially when I use examples from their peers that I can introduce ideas that they didn't think about necessarily. The whole FEP and the audit is all part of a continuous improvement program. The idea is that you know the farm environment plan might give them a few ideas as to where they might be able to make room for improvement. The audit will give some more specific feedback um, around exactly how they're going and where they might be able to make further improvements which though that information and those recommendations can get worked back into an updated farm environment plan um, and the idea is that it's just an ongoing cycle of which we can continually introduce uh, further information and provide support to try and get those changes over time. Efficient irrigation to me is, is applying uh, the right amount of water at, in the right place at the right time um, and matching that uh, requirement to the uh, demand of the crop. And yeah, as I say, that's really been borne out by the FEP process. The environment is pretty important to, uh, to my farming operation and my family. This is a multi-generational farm and, and I'd like to think my children might be wanting to be uh, interested in, in, in being the next generation to run it. So obviously to do that, we've got to be sustainable in a uh, economic and an environmental way. So it is pretty important. I, I want to make sure that my kids have the opportunity to grow great crops on, on great soil with good water in the same way I've had.